By the end of this video, you will be able to create a website, put it online for free, edit the content, hook up your own domain, and then if you want, you can just forget about it and it'll run perfectly forever with zero thought. And your site won't be on some low bandwidth shared server from like Joe's discount basement servers. Instead, you get it on the edge network, which serves your site lightning fast from the data center closest to your visitors and the security will be impenetrable because there will be literally nothing to steal and your SEO will be unbeatable. There's no paywalls or upselling that you get hit with later. Everything is genuinely free and the sky's the limit in terms of improvements and extensions and upgrades. Now, there's only one reason why everybody isn't doing this. You have to not be afraid of HTML. But don't worry, this isn't a guide just for people who can code. HTML is just a document like any other and you don't even actually have to write it yourself. All right, let's begin. You don't need to use the AI for this part, but you might as well. Ask the AI for a HTML snippet and tell it how you want it to look. You can come back and tweak it and perfect it later. Now, paste the snippet into a text file and name the file index.html. You can actually right click the file now and open it with a browser. That's all the browser is doing. It's just reading the HTML and applying the text and the styling that it sees. All websites stay working this way, except that you're grabbing the HTML file from the internet, but in this case, it's your local file system that you're grabbing it from. Okay, the hosting provider we'll use, it's called Netlify. There are others, uh, Vercel, Cloudflare Pages, but Netlify is a great one to start with. They'll host your website for free forever, super high availability, and you can just basically throw it online and forget about it if you want to. They actually have a drop zone to make things easy for you. So you just go to app.netlify.com slash drop, and you drop in a folder that contains your HTML file. You actually get a link to your website right then and there that you can follow. It will be password protected though. Instead, what we want to do is go and sign up for a free account with Netlify where you can manage the website. You actually get a free .netlify.app domain for the site and you can choose the URL. Then you'd go to hook up your own domain. Uh, you can either actually just grab a domain from Netlify and the setup will be really easy. Or if you already own your domain, you can just bring it and hook it up. It's all free. If you do bring your own domain from another registrar, there'll be instructions about how to configure it. The last thing is that if you don't want to mess around too much with the HTML, you can just grab a pre-made HTML theme from there's various marketplaces online. One of them would be Theme Forest, for example. So you take that bundle, you make a few edits to the content and you're done. You can send that up to Netlify and your site will be online. The beauty of Netlify is that their business model is based around going after the really big fish. So for them, having a couple of small business, relatively low traffic websites is irrelevant. Um, you can host something like 500 websites on a free Netlify account. They don't care. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this kind of content. And I'll see you next time.